Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel Living Life with Leticia. Well today I would like for you to meet the new addition to the family. Her name is Nene. I'm on day seven of my surgery. I'm still beneath. Um, today I got candy. <laughs> I just want to jump. I don't really want that much food. But I am staying medicated for sure. Barely making it to the bathroom. Now I see how my mom felt. I mean, she never made it. <laughs> She's like, I was trying. And I'd be like, Mama, why didn't you blah, 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 get up in time? Why didn't you, why didn't you, why didn't you? And she was like, I was trying. And I wasn't even thinking about it. And I get it. Because I was trying and I wasn't even thinking about it. Ice, ice, baby. That's my best friend is the ice, ice, baby. I had, uh, uh physical therapy today. Where's the bed thing? That's my problem. I can't never find nothing. Well, today I feel so much better. I've been sick over the weekend, and my stomach, you know, that's just my life. Um, surgery went well. I'm still um, kind of laid up a little bit, but that's my me and they will be coming today to take the stitches out i'm not looking forward to that but he says it doesn't hurt but at least he said it didn't hurt him <laughs> that's the nurse and guess what i've had i have blue cross blue shield and they provide a home health service for you after this kind of surgery i love it so they send a nurse out they send a, a physical therapist and uh, so I have physical therapists coming today as well as the nurse and the nurse is supposed to come this morning. Like at 10.30. I'm gonna have to take a shower and all that stuff. But anyway, they're coming today and do whatever they do. And hopefully that won't be painful. But I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, let you know that girl's still living. Barely, <laughs> my stomach is, this uh, last several days have not been my friend, but I'm used to, you know, trying to get back. But anyway, I'm going to try to record my, my stitches baby coming here in the background. He's my in-house nurse, and he's been helping me with my medication, cooking, cleaning. He's done it all. Just see if, it, if I'm in any pain, but yeah. I'm pretty sure he'll be pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> I asked him yesterday, I said, is it painful? He said, well, not for me, but my <laughs> 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 like, thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. You hear the voice of the nurse that came out to remove the staples and so he is going to be this is his last visit with me and then my um, physical therapist I think she has a couple more but uh, you see this is what they do and it came out and stitched or took the stitches out and then rebandaged me and then my next visit will be in the doctor's office in about two weeks of my surgery and I'm, and I'm doing okay I'm doing better stomach wise and that means I'm doing better everyone wise because my knee has not even been my problem <laughs> it's been my stomach so anyway 
Bubby's been doing a um, good job taking care of his wife. This is our first time probably in life that he's had to, that we've had to do anything like this. So it's a first and we learning. So we've done good. We made it a whole few days without any incidents, but just want to check in with y'all, let you know that I had my staples removed. I'll show that. And I have another week of physical therapy here at home. And then she said I'll have to then find a, a um, local place to go to. My knee is getting better, but I keep doing something to make it really hurt. I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, you guys be blessed and be a blessing. You're stronger than you think. Really. I'm supposed to be exercising, stretching or whatever, but I got to make a joke out of everything. Got to make it fun, because if it's not, I don't want to do it. Period. I'm getting ready for my physical therapy appointment. This is the last of my appointments uh, she got today and then tomorrow. So, and she's been a deer, so I got to... Hold on. I wanted to give her something for Christmas and I will get something today so we can give it to her tomorrow. And, uh, but anyway, I am dressed because I'm going to the store. Now I got water on me because I just wasted it. Ta -da. <sighs> Last minute little items. We're not cooking very much. I'm not sure why he think we are, but we not. That's my walker. That's my new cane. Switching it up because I'm doing something that hurts. And I am in recovery phase of a total knee replacement. Uh, we, I had the surgery on November 30th. And so today is December 20th. All right, I'm getting ready to put some oil in my hair because it's so dry. I look, I kind of like my braids, but I don't. It's too many. So. I already have a lot of hair. I didn't need a whole extra lot of hair. But this is what I got. So long. Slap feet, slap feet. I'm making fun of my husband because he slides his feet. And so I've been calling him slidey feet. And that's just <laughs> my joke. Because <laughs> pick your feet up. I used to, I mean, you know, of course. Everybody does whatever they do, and I don't know why they do, but he wouldn't wear house shoes for a long time, but he started, so I don't want to complain about it too much because then he'll stop wearing them. So drag on, baby, drag on. Slidey, slidey feet. Anyway, this was my mama's. I bought her this several Christmases ago because she always stayed cold. And these are some cuddle duds and I've been loving them ever since. But these are one of the pajamas that I guess my sister had washed or dunk laundry for my mom. And she just said, you want these? And I'm like, yeah. So I took them and I've had them ever since. So I appreciate that uh, courtesy of giving the pajamas to me. It will be one year of her passing, home going. So 
we're not doing anything to recognize it other than just a couple of things that we were doing for ourselves uh, between us all, our sisters. We're gonna make one dish or have one dish uh, that we can dedicate to mama. Um, mine is gonna be my, that pineapple cake that she used to love and then she passed it on to me to make. And so I used to make it for her and me because we were only two that really ate it and we didn't even care. Because um, for a while we were like, is anybody else eating this cake besides us? And then I stopped making it because I was like, you know, we can't eat a whole cake, mama. And then we started saying, we're going to try to eat this whole cake. <laughs> well, it's Christmas Day and it's a bit sad and lonesome. Kids didn't come home. We didn't go home. And, and so we are just here. And of course, I can't be traveling anyway. So it's different. It looks delicious, Bobby. <laughs> Try it and see what it tastes like. Mm -mm, I'm be ready to eat. I'm just ready to eat. It's your day! I appreciate my baby for just trying to take care of me as much as he can. I know I'm a handful. However, I have not felt good. And so, I, you know, sick patient. They ain't not a good patient, I'm sure. But I believe that he is owed a great debt because he has done over and beyond the call of duty. So thank you, Bubby. I'm going to say bye to the next video. Love y'all. Bye.